Hey everyone, so big news, I am going to do a Project 20 pan this summer again. I did one last year and I know I kind of said I wasn't going to do Project Pans for a while, but I changed my mind. Um, just because, you know, it's summer and I have a pretty like laid back routine in the summer. I will be taking classes all summer and working, um, but I'm not working as much as I had in the past. So um, yeah, I, I just think it'll be a great time. And it's a great time for me to just focus on like certain products or anything like that. Um, because I do just pack up what I need for the summer and bring it home with me. So I don't have my entire collection around me um, to tempt me. So it's like whatever I bring is what I have to use. So it's a great way for me to just bang out some products. And I have some samples and a bunch, a bunch of lip products. Like you guys are going to think I'm crazy. But... I think I can do it. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into what I would like to be using this summer. So it is a Project 20 pan. I have 25 products um, just so that I have a little bit of wiggle room and some things are going to be more of a challenge than others. And some things may not end up working for me and so that way I can, you know, do what's best and not force myself to like use products that I hate um, for the sake of a Project pan because that's silly. So anyway, let's just begin, huh? Um, so I'll start with all the lip products. And you guys are just going to think I'm crazy, and maybe I am. But these are the three Tarte lipsticks that I have been talking about. Um, and I just decided I'm going to throw them into my project pan to really make sure I use them. So I have Nude, Pink, and Rose, and I'll quickly just show you them. Um, so this is Nude. It's kind of like a pinky nude um, kind of a shade. And then I have Pink, which is a bright pink, and it's really fun. Um, but I don't know if I'll actually finish that one. We'll see. And then this one is Rose, which is more of a, like, your lips but better kind of a shade. I really like it. It's like a darker, nude, neutral kind of color. So these are the three full-size lipsticks that I'm going to be working on. So these are the lines of wear I am at. Obviously, Nude has had a little bit more wear lately than Rose and Pink. But, um, yeah, so I will be updating Project Pants probably every other week. So you'll, we'll see marks, you know, along the way, and I'll remeasure and everything like that. Now I do have some mini lipsticks I'm going to be working on. I bought the Urban Decay mini lipstick set um, this past winter and there came with six lip, mini lipsticks and a full size Urban Decay Ozone lip liner which is the clear one like anti feathering one. So these are four of the lipsticks. Um, two of them there was like a super hot pink that I would never wear and then a super bright cherry red and I just don't like the way that warm cherry reds look on me so that one I passed along too but these four I want to use up and they're really small so I have four different colors obviously and I also have a post-it here so it says Urban Decay mini lipsticks and then you know so I know which ones are which so they're all about the same I have used these two obviously once and then these two look like they're pretty fresh and brand new so I'm going to quickly show you the colors this is liar which is a more brownie nude um, brown peach kind of a nude but as you can see there's really not that much product in these like I'm sure if I wore this exclusively for a week I could probably use it all up so um, there's that one and then this one is lady flower which is kind of more of like a mauvey pink um, it looks a lot brighter on camera right there. Like, that's more of a true color match. Um, so, I, I like this one. This is kind of the color I usually go for. If I'm going to do a pink, it's going to be like a movie pink. Um, this one is Illicit, which is a very light kind of baby pink, which I do really like too. Um, so, I'm excited for that one. And then this one um, is Gash, which is a darker berry red. And it looks a lot darker here. Let me give you a little swatch it's definitely more of a berry kind of a red so um yeah that's gonna be the dark lipstick so I feel like between these four mini ones and the three larger ones I'm gonna have a lot of variety for lip colors they're all you know slightly different a couple nudes couple pinks um and then a red so I think that gives me enough to work with for the summer and then I also have some lip glosses now three of them I've already been working on them and then two are like brand new kind of so the three I've been working on, I stuck these into a cup of hot water so they would all kind of pool down so I could accurately mark them. And I'm going to do that every time. So the first one here is the Smashbox Illuminate gloss that I've been working on. It's just basically a clear gloss with like sparkles on it. So um, that's where I'm at there. So I'm about halfway down anyway. Um, and this is one that I just kind of carry around with me and reapply. Um, it's in my car. It's just one that like I've been trying to focus on a lot. So that's the first one and my two bite glosses so this pinkier one is number two 
and this more like peachy one is number seven. So these two I've been working on. These two I like to keep in my purse just because they are, they're really opaque lip colors. They're pretty thick. So when I need to reapply a lip color, these are the ones I go for because these ones do go pretty fast. I didn't actually, wasn't able to like mark on them, but they do go pretty fast. I don't pull the stoppers out of these um, lip glosses just because I don't really think it's worth it. I did it once and it was just, it, I didn't get that much more use out of it. I think I only got three more applications. So if I would have gotten another like week's worth, I could totally see, you know, that's a lot of product in there, but there's really just not a lot of product in these. I do have two other lip glosses. These are both full size. So this one is the Too Faced Sweet Sunshine's lip gloss in the shade Mocha Freeze. It's actually what I have on my lips today. Well, let's put a little bit more on, huh? It's just a really pretty neutral kind of a color. Um, I can see after I'm done with my Smashbox one, I can see this one being the one in my car. If I just need to walk into Walgreens or Target or anything like that, I like to slap something on. And, you know, this is always going to go with whatever kind of makeup I'm wearing. So this one is right up at the top here. I don't even know if you're going to see the line, but this one's pretty much brand new. So the last lip gloss and the last lip product is the Essence Triple Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Bright Side of Life, so it's this really pretty, like, coral orange. Let me give you a little swatch here. It's right there. So, really bright and fun, and I thought, it's summer, why not, you know? So, we'll see about this one. I am right about here, so quite a bit to go, but um, this is a, I love those lip glosses. They are amazing. Um, I have a couple others that I really love that I'll probably use up later this year, and I'll definitely buy them again. They're, um, they're just great. So those are all of the lip products, lots of them. There's 12 total, there's five glosses and seven lipsticks. Four of them are mini though, so I feel like I can, you know, I feel like I can do this. It'll be fine. All right, so let's move on. I have some eyeliners I want to use up. I want to use up the Pixie Plum Liner I've been working on and also the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner and Via Veneto, which is a black. So um, those are going to be the two I focus on this summer. And I do have marks for them, but there's another thing on that page. Um, this is the e.l.f. Waterproof Shadow Stick. I don't know if that's called, but it's kind of like rubbing off. But it's in the shade Blush. It's this really pretty, like, I don't know, kind of golden-y shade. It's right there. Um, it's really pretty, though, but it does twist up and twist down. So I twisted it all the way up and marked it onto the post-it. So the e.l.f. Um, cream shadow, this is all product from this little line. This is the NARS liner, and then this is the Pixie liner. So I'll be marking these, you know, as I make progress for you guys. Um, I think I'm gonna wait and use the black one later. I'm gonna try to use as much of the purple as I can, and then later go on to the black. So we might not see progress on everything right away. You know, even with the lip glosses, I might just focus on a like one or two at a time and just get rid of them um, instead of using them all at once. So some might not have progress after a couple weeks, but eventually they will, right? Um, I also have the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is the little mini one as well that I got in a set at some point. Um, so this is going to be the eye primer I use in the summer, and I'm really excited for it. And I've heard that if you take the stopper out of this guy, you'll get a ton more product. So probably we'll do that eventually, um, but I think this is like, I think I can definitely get through this if this is the only eye primer I use all summer, you know, for the next couple of months. I think I can get through it. Um, I have some face products. So this is the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer, the original one. This is half an ounce. Um, Kayla sent this to me. She sent me another one too. Um, and if I get through this one, I might just pull that one out and use it too. But this is the one I'm going to be focusing on. It's like a silicone primer. I use um, my Tea Tree Pore Minimizer all over my face. It's not really exactly a pore minimizer, but that's what it's called. And then I use this over my chin and my nose to really mattify and, you know, hide those pores and everything like that. So... This is going to be the primer I'm focusing on. And then I have some little mini, mini samples. These are all the Super Goop CC creams. So I have three of them here. This one is fair to light, and then these two are light to medium. So right now I'm going to start using the fair to light just because that's what I am right now. And then as the summer goes and I get a little bit more tan, I'll go on to the light to medium. But I like having little mini samples. They're fun, and, you know, it's they're easy to go through, which I think in a project pan it's good to have items that you're going to go through kind of quick and then ones that are going to take a while because if you have all full-size products that are brand new you're just going to get really fed up and frustrated so I like to throw in a mix of different 
sizes and amounts of products and everything like that so I will consistently see progress and not feel like I'm a loser. Um, but yeah, so these are going to be the little BB creams or CC creams, I guess, that I'm going to be using this summer. It's just kind of like a quick thing to slap on my face. So I will let you know what I think about them. I know I used them last summer, but I can't remember if I loved them or not. I feel like I did, but you know, things change. So I'm going to be working on those. And then I also have this Buxom Divine Goddess Luminizer. I went through this kind of a size last year and I love it and I've missed it. And then I finally got a little another um, sample and some other kit. And I'm so excited when I'm done with this, I'm definitely buying a full size. This is what I like to mix in with my foundations to give me a little bit more of a glow. So um, definitely going to finish this up. I love this product. It's not too shiny. It's not glittery. And it's kind of like skin tone, you know. So it's not like it's going to change the actual color of your foundation or BB cream or whatever you're using. That's why I really like it. So definitely love that. And this is, let's see, about a quarter of an ounce. So I think I can definitely get through that. All right, I have just a couple more products. I forgot to mention this when I was going through eye stuff. This is the Say It With Me Sigma Eyeshadow Base in the shade Provoke. I love it. Um, I'm getting actually really close to finishing it now. Um, so I don't have that much left. That's it. It does go down pretty deep, but um, there's really not that much left. I use it every single day. Even if I'm not going to do like powder eyeshadow, I'll put this on my eyelids just because it cancels everything out. It's a really pretty peachy neutral shade and I love it. So this is something I use every single day um, and I, I will finish this this summer. I am going to because it's been a long time coming and I need that satisfaction. <laughs> All right, I have a couple other products that you've heard me say for a long time. The Say It With Me, Joe's Moran, Coconut Wilder Color Cheek Gelays. I have Pink Escape and Poppy Paradise. I'm really focusing on Pink Escape right now. I scooped it all up with a little um, beauty spatula from the bottom and put it against the side just like I do with my eye base. So it's a little bit easier for me to get and I've been just using my fingers. I do have it on today underneath a powder blush. So I really like it and I also like to kind of dab these on my lips for like a little lip stain too. So there's that one. And then Poppy Paradise is definitely more pigmented um, and brighter. So I have to be, you know, really careful with this one. But I haven't quite scooped it over yet. I can still get my e.l.f. Uh, small stipple brush in there and kind of swirl it around and use it that way. But like I said, I've been trying to focus on Pink Escape more. All right, last product is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Bronzer in the shade Medium. Looks like this. I have, let's see, a little swatch here for you right down there so it's really pretty and it's a dark bronzer and it has some swirls of like lighter and some pink in there which I really like because I'm very pink toned um, and so sometimes some bronzers even though I like ashy bronzers for contour for like warming up my face I can like definitely look a little bit too cool tone and it looks weird on me so I really like that this has some pink in it so it, you know helps warm up my face too. I am for my finish four by the fourth using the mini NARS Laguna bronzer and that one works better when I'm fair and this one would be way too dark for me right now so I'm going to finish that one up and hopefully by the time I'm done with that one I'll have more of a tan and can use this one. So those are the 25 products that I will be using for the summer. Like I said some of them probably won't have progress every single time just because I might just focus on, you know, like one lipstick for a week or I might focus on one gloss exclusively or something like that. Um, so that's okay and I have five products that it's okay if I don't finish. And if I were to guess right now, and this could definitely change obviously, but I think I probably won't finish the bronzer. This is small though. This is only 1.8 grams. So I might, but I kind of feel like I won't. Maybe I'd be really happy if I hit pan, um, but I don't think I'll actually finish this one. Um, I don't think I'll finish Gash, the dark red lipstick right there, just because I don't wear red that often. I do wear it, but not that often. Um, I don't think I'll finish the pink, um, lip, lipstick from Tarte, just because that's a very bright pink. I don't think I'll finish the Poppy Paradise, Josie Moran, um, Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelay just because it's really bright and it's like super pigmented. And I don't think I'll finish the um, e.l.f. cream shadow just because that's a lot of product in there. But you never know. I've never actually, like I've used it a few times but I've never gone through one so I don't know how fast this will go. But if I had to guess right now, those would be the five that I think I won't finish. But 
you never know. Things can change, and um, yeah, we'll just have to see. So thanks so much for watching, and get excited for Project Pan updates and all that, because I know I'm excited. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you are doing a Project Pan, because I love to watch them. They're addictive. And let me know if you're doing a big one for summer or anything like that. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.